it's such a wonder, how's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Today I am reviewing Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. I think this is my first ever Balenciaga fragrance review, which is quite exciting, and maybe there'll be more, I'm not sure. But anyway, I remember smelling this fragrance about four years ago, really briefly on a card that someone had, it wasn't even the one that I'd sprayed, and really liking it, and kind of forgot about it for a while, and then... As it's come into spring, I started looking at fragrances again and what might be cool to get and this one kept popping up and then I started reading reviews of it and they're 95% amazing, positive reviews, good things to say about this fragrance so I thought I would get it. So it's a floral green fragrance, it came out quite a while ago, 2012 and the inspiration behind it is actually one of their... Uh, fashion lines they did that was designed by a guy called Nicolas Gasquier. He created um, lots of different floral prints, but the main one was this, or the one that this is inspired by, I think, or is linked to somehow, is the Iguana floral print, and it's this one. So let's just take a minute to admire this piece of art that is this perfume. It's so gorgeous in, on every level. Um, this is the design of the dress, or the, the fabric that he, that he made, and it's really cool, it's very detailed, very unusual, all kinds of weirdness going on, they kind of look like alien plants to me, and yeah, the bottle is something else, let me see, let me see, so it's massive and really really chunky, <laughs> this bit I thought was a giant lid but it's not, the lid's actually half of the whole of that top bit if that makes sense and it's just really nice, it's fully red on that side and then it's lined with purple on that side so from every angle, let me just wipe this on my breast to clean it for you, so from every angle this, this bottle is just absolutely beautiful, I absolutely love it. So. What are the notes while I spray it on my right hand? So, the notes of this fragrance, it's quite a simplistic fragrance, but it's very effective. So the notes are mint, carnation, hybrid rose, who knows what that is? Maybe it's a mutant rose, I don't know, a crazy one that's got petals that are 10 inches long, I don't know. But a hybrid rose of some kind, it's very rosy. And then you have caladium leaves, which, I mean, I don't know what they smell like, but I've seen pictures of them and they are very beautiful leaves, they sometimes green with pink kind of stems inside of them, they can be arrow shaped, they can be heart shaped, um, and I don't know what they smell like, but there is definitely a leafy element to this, so yay to Balenciaga. And then the base notes of this are amber and vetiver, but you can pretty much just ignore those because this is all about the other four notes. Like I said, it's simple and effective. So, it sprays out a really nice amount as well. I've worn probably about five mils of this already over the past couple of weeks. Um, or maybe maybe five mils in just one day, because I, sometimes I do that. But anyway, this fragrance is really cool. Um, the, my first impression of this when I smelled it on my skin was there is a, a somewhat of a florist shop feeling about this one. It's the, those caladium leaves and the mint and then a bit of spice from carnation, which are the main things you smell that give it its character. It's very cool, you know, who doesn't like the smell of a florist shop? It has that kind of greenery foliage going on. The mint is quite prominent, but it feels like mint leaves, not a cheap chewing gum mint or a, even a sappy kind of mint. It's a real bright, fresh fragrance at first with a lot of rose. The rose in this is very crisp, it's very cool, the whole thing in here is, it doesn't remind me of it because it smells like it, but it has a similar feeling to Stella by Stella McCartney, which is one of my favourite perfumes ever. I described it as being an icy rose, which it kind of is. It's a very high-pitched, crystalline and cold rose fragrance. There is no powder here, there is no softness, there is no sweet jamminess. Everything is done in a kind of naturalistic kind of way. And it's one of those ones that makes you feel very refreshed when you wear it. It makes you feel a bit cooler. It's like spraying a bit of a florist on you. I don't know. It's really cool in that way. So the rose is the main thing, but the background notes are the character. So it's this greenery. It's a tiny bit spicy from the carnation. You can feel it, but it's not at the forefront. And 
it's really, really pleasant. I mean, it's spring. It could not be more perfect for spring for me. Oh, so nice. The two green elements in here being the mint, le the mint and the caladium leaves are so well balanced when it starts to dry. At first it's more minty, but then when I really smell it up close, it's a combination of mint and leaves, and that's really lovely with the rose at the forefront. Such a pleasure. But anyway, that's the kind of wet to drying stages. When it's drier, the floral aspect of this, the rose mainly, really takes hold of it, and it does push the greenery to the background a little bit. So you're left with a very simplistic, like I said, but effective rose fragrance that is so casual, so, um, what's the word I'm looking for, versatile. I feel like this could be worn by anyone. It's just, this is a universal fragrance for me because it's just so naturalistic and beautiful and it's not stuffy. There's no stuffiness about it. It's not trying too hard. It really just delivers what it's supposed to do. The name is perfect, Flora Botanica. I know they have released Rosa Botanica which I'm wondering how that differs from this, considering this is mainly about roses. Maybe I'll go read some reviews, or maybe even get it, I don't know. But, for now, this is a 10 out of 10. It has really good projection, it has really good longevity. The projection is medium, but the longevity is great. You, you do get this cool, icy rose, green rose thing for many, many hours, at least eight, I can feel it on me for, and it never, dulls, it's always really bright and sparky, this one. So, it's just a really good composition. I think it was Olivier Polge that made it, so, you know, he knows his stuff. And um, that's all I'm gonna say about it really, because it is quite a simple one. Very, very beautiful, and the reviews weren't lying. This is a lovely fragrance that I'm gonna enjoy wearing, even when it gets even hotter in summer, just to feel that coolness. So I got mine from natino.co.uk, if you guys want to get it, go and get it there. I will post a link below in the description directly to it so you can go and check it out. This is just a piece of like modern art, I absolutely love it. Anyway, I'm up to my note, click my logo down there to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Goodbye.